Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elias Castillo and you're watching Garden Foraged. I live in Zone 7 in Northern Virginia and I am turning my yard into a food forest. Today I want to talk about three trees that grow in our area that are uncommon. One of them is probably common, but two of them are pretty uncommon. I have this pomegranate tree here. It's a special type of pomegranate. Uh, that grows in our area it is hardy to zone 7 and we are in zone 7 here So this one should grow no problem outside in the ground So I'm gonna be planting this in a very sunny location and on the side of the house that gets the most sunlight This particular type is called Salavaski and this is a Russian pomegranate that was developed by a professor a uh, long time ago and I bought this from edible landscaping they have an orchard and this grows probably there's a gentleman in Arlington Virginia that is growing this one he has a humongous tree and I've seen it on YouTube so that's what inspired me and I hope this inspires you to grow your own pomegranate tree the next tree I'm gonna be talking about is hardy orange or flying dragon this one if you live down south it's probably common in your area but here up north uh, near Northern Virginia it's not very common this produces small golf sized oranges they are a bit bitter uh, and super sour uh, but they have a lot of culinary applications it will grow well outside without any protection and it will produce oranges in about three to four years I'm gonna be using those oranges to make cocktails I'm gonna cut them in little slivers dehydrate them and make them cocktails you can also make preserves with them and then you can reserve the juice itself to make something delicious with you can cook with that sour juice I have another type of pomegranate that is hardy to our area this is called crimson sky and it's also a hardy pomegranate and this will grow in our area without any special protections I am hopeful that I'll be eating some pomegranates and just a few years I have forgot to mention but these are all grafted varieties so they will produce a little bit quicker than the ones that are planted from seeds I don't recommend that you start pomegranates from seeds because you don't know what type of variety it is and you need a special variety that will survive our winters here in Northern Virginia popular so you should The last tree I want to talk about is a persimmon tree. This is a specifically a Fuju persimmon. This is a very tasty persimmon. I, was, I had the chance to buy one at the local Asian market last year and it was super tasty. And my neighbor down the road has one and it's loaded every single year. The good thing about persimmons is that they, they can stay on the tree for up to a few frosts so potentially you can have persimmon trees in the middle of December uh, because they do so well with the frost so um, I am trying to extend my fruit season by planting this persimmon tree I'm gonna be putting it in my front yard so it gets a ton of Sun my helper Kayla here has picked the best spot for the persimmon tree so we're gonna be putting the persimmon tree in this raised bed to plant the persimmon tree I'm just gonna dig a hole just as deep as this and as wide as this put it in close it in water it and that's it pretty simple okay and it goes that's it and just like that the persimmon tree is in I am planting the hardy orange one bed down from the persimmon I'm going to be putting the Salavaski right here. I'm 
I'm gonna be putting the last pomegranate tree here in front of my house where there is a little bit more sunlight and the house will produce a little bit extra heat during the winter and this is the part of the yard that gets the most sun during the winter months so I'm confident that this little guy will survive here it goes one baby little tree And that is all my friends. I've just planted five fruit trees, three pomegranates, one hardy orange, and one persimmon tree. And I hope that you get inspired to plant some of your own fruit trees in your yard. The ones that I've planted, they're gonna get about 10 feet tall and six to seven feet wide. And I'm gonna be keeping them small because I have a small yard, but I wanna get a lot of different fruits out of my yard. So, so please, Consider adding some fruit trees to your yard and I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.